All right, guys. Uh, welcome to Air Carbon Arc Cutting and Gouging. Okay. Session one objectives. Define air carbon arc cutting and identify the related equipment and consumables. Define air carbon arc cutting. Identify and describe air carbon arc cutting equipment. Identify and describe various types of electrodes. Identify safety practices related to air carbon arc cutting. And then you will select and install air carbon arc cutting electrodes. Okay, so the basics here of air carbon arc. Um, we're using an arc welder and compressed air to uh, remove material. So in the gouging, which is shown on the left, we're just using, um, using the electrode and we're, we're uh, chiseling out a very a pretty precise hole for as, as destructive and rudimentary as the machine is, it can be fairly precise. And then washing is, instead of just moving in a travel direction, now we're moving side to side um, trying to remove a, a wide swath of material. Okay, uh, the air carbon arc process and equipment. Groove size and shape. The minimum groove width is a function of the carbon electrode size. Beyond this limitation, the groove size and depth is, of, is affected and controlled by your amperage, your electrode angle to the base metal or your push angle, your travel speed, how fast you're going, and then how you're moving the electrode, and then lastly, your air pressure. Okay, so here's the basics of an air carbon arc setup. So um, you have your air carbon arc electrode holder here. And what it is, is it's actually a piece of cable that is around an air hose. And so um, if we look at the little, little cutout in the bottom left, there's an air hose connection and then the lug there to, to attach your lead to. Um, that's all attached together um, and then up on the handle or the electrode holder there's an air valve and then inside the handle there's a special grooved part that holds the electrode. The nice part is this part is rota can be rotated so that you can find the precise angle that works well for what you're, to, what you're going to gouge. Um, here's a, the connection to a common welding machine. Okay, um, note the common push angle applied to the gouging to gouging is um, in the equipment diagram. So that's kind of the standard. Um, if you get closer to the plate, so if you increase that, you know, 55 degrees to 65 or 70, you're just going to gouge a, a shallower channel. Okay, different head types and arrangements. Okay, uh, cutting um, the different head types. Uh, provide different uh, air jet patterns based on the task. So the cutting, gouging, and uh, defect removal head there on the left. Uh, this is what we'll use. This is fairly common. It uh, discharges air just from just from one side, which will be under the electrode, and then there's no air on the other side. Um, then we've got a washing and a general purpose also. Okay, cable configurations, the air flows to the torch. Uh, through a dedicated air hose or through the center of the electrical conductor depending on the equipment design. Okay, welding current uh, types for different materials. Okay, we're going to do low carbon steel. We're going to do DC electrode positive um, since we have DC machines and we have the DC type electrode. Um, you can review this, uh, this table. It's in your book or uh, review it on the PowerPoint. Okay, electrodes. These copper coated electrodes are designed for air carbon arc uh, cutting. Um, and the round electrode is used for, for cutting or for uh, gouging, so gouging out welds, and this is what we'll be using in class. Uh, and then the rectangular electrodes for washing and cutting, which I think it's gonna tell us that right now. So plain, no coated is for DC, burns easily, carries less current, um, and they're tapered. Copper coated for DC, most common, carry more current, operate at lower temperatures. Uh, not usable if copper contamination is a concern. And copper coated for AC, arc is stabilized by rarest metals contained in the electrode. Okay, electrodes come in several different shapes and sizes. 
as you can see the rectangular and the half round um, the round is going to be the most common though okay uh, current rating the current carrying capacity increases this increases as their size increases um, <clears throat> so these are just uh, the current that they can that, that they can uh, that can be translated through the electrode Okay, groove size, electrode size, amperage, and travel speed. Equipment and electrode manufacturers offer information like this to assist in the selection process. So this is all available from the distributor as well. Uh, safety practices, protective clothing, safety glasses, full face shield or welding helmet. Uh, face shield or helmet must have the proper lens shade for the cutting task. The plasma art cutting, properly tinted cutting goggles may be acceptable. Flame retarded clothing and welding gloves, high top safety shoes, or spats over covered la over exposed laces. Caps should be 100% cotton, and hearing protection is required, especially with air carbon arc. It is a very very noisy process. Okay, um, fire and explosion prevention: no matches or lighters in your pockets. Obtain heart work permit and, and uh, establish fire watches. Never use oxygen as a pressure source for cleaning clothing or blowing off benches. Uh, move all flammable materials from the work area of a fire extinguisher nearby. Take care not to release flammable gas into the atmosphere. Be careful with hot metal. Do not assume a piece is cold. Take special precautions when cutting any sort of vessel. Uh, work area ventilation. Look around. Um, are you in a confined space? Ensure all confined space requirements have been met. Ventilation is sufficient and effective. Remember that various coatings and metals can release toxic or hazardous fumes. Use respirator anytime there is there are the time you are in doubt about air quality. A hey, wrap up. How do you think the CAC electrode holder differs from the one used for shield metal arc welding? Okay. Basically, it differs in the fact that it carries compressed air as well and that you have full 360 degree rotation of the, uh, of the electrodes in the jaws. Operating and caring for the equipment, uh, laboratory and demonstration. Um, we'll go over this in class. We'll set up a machine and everyone will get a chance to gouge. Thank you. Uh, please review session two and complete the uh, quiz and trade terms quiz in preparation for the test.